Hi guys, this is Kevin. And I'm Kim. And we are coming to you today with another great episode of KKOA. That's right. We're going to talk to you about Beaver Lake and camping around Beaver Lake. In Northwest Arkansas. Yes. And somebody asked us, since you camped a lot around Beaver Lake, what is your favorite camping spot? Park. And I'll... Oh, that's a great question, actually. So it really made us think. Yeah, we started to kind of look at what are some of the best camping spots and everything else now that we've been to, but also some that are around here in northwest Arkansas around Beaver Lake. Yeah, because they're just, they're less than an hour, so that's where we tend to go to on a whim. We have six things that we're going to rate the campgrounds. Yeah, kind of what we broke it down to is kind of our top six things that that we look for uh and when we go try to find a campsite or yeah when we go on our little adventures or our travels at least our adventures and travels around here yes this so, is just our opinion you check out all our a lot of the videos and everything else that we have uh down below we've given overviews on all these uh locations all yes right. so um the ratings that we're going to base it on is number one we need cell service cell service because he works and gets calls and just to have it yeah so that's just the number one so if we know that there's none we won't go yeah we really can't go because a lot of time with my job i'm on call and we got to be able to have good cell service but number two is lake view must have a lake view yeah what's the point of going to the lake going camping if you don't have a lake view i mean right right you know that's one of the reasons why we go to the lake and go on beaver lake is because of the lake views so. right so that's number two number three trees well trees because shade they're pretty and hammocks yeah come on we like to do our hammocking as you know in a lot of other videos we spend a lot of time in our hammocks and just kicking back and of course Kim loves her trees. I do. They're just pretty. Number four, spot. Is it level? Is it gravel? Yeah. I mean, you know, if you saw in Horseshoe, we had a jack up the RV. Yeah, not fun. No. Like, I wouldn't want to go back. No. <laughs> just saying. Yeah, it might have a good view and everything else, but... Um, so number five is, does it have water, electric, or sewer? Yeah, what type of amenities or hookups that you're kind of looking for? If you're going for a long period of time, you may want to have full hookups. And our last one, number six, is how access is it to the water? Yeah. And what does the boat ramp look like? Exactly. I mean, we're going to look at some of the, the sites around Beaver Lake. And uh, all these sites are reservable on recreation.gov, so you can check them all out. First one is Prairie Creek. They do have good cell service. Mm. We've camped at one spot. You kind of can see the lake. From a distance. There isn't really much, what do you call it? And we'll put a park map so you can see what is around the lake. We kind of like to be on the lake. Right. Kids or, like to swim and go down to the lake. And, or inland just a little bit, but yet you can still get access to the, to the, to lake. the lake. Okay, so now we're going to talk about trees prairie creek has trees yes prairie creek has lots of yes. trees very nice very We're nice perfect hamming spot hammock hammocking spots and lots of trees for cover yeah, yeah so definitely a plus for the trees spot level uh most of the spots yeah. are generally low yeah uh parking spots i mean they're they're concrete pads we stayed you know. at three or four yeah. different spots we never yeah have any problem. Not I, really. i'd say a plus or a on all the spot level so at Prairie Creek, it just has electric and... They have water and electric only. They have great bathrooms. Great yep. boat ramp. I think they can launch six boats. It does get very busy on the weekends, though. Go to Hickory Creek. Hickory Creek is actually in <laughs> Lowell, Arkansas. Well, uh, let's, let's go down the list. Hickory Creek, cell service. There's two sections. Right. They have a like an inland kind of section, like a bay section, and then they have like the main lake section. The Inland Bay has, like, no cell service. Right. But there is some cell service, the limited cell service, if you stay out on the point. Overall, the cell service is kind of fair at best. All right, so let's talk about Lakeview. Any spot, really, you have a lake. Yeah, the, lake view. they have the, the main lake, which is on the point by the boat ramp, 
all those spots you're right there on the lake yes the other yep. inland spots in the bay that that's across from the marina it actually has that there's lunch of lake okay so we got trees it has some trees uh, yeah i don't think all the spots have trees okay so let's go to spots level depending on what spot it is there, there are some of our level uh, depending on what i mean for the most part they're all concrete pads yeah. so the amenities it's only electric um access and boat ramp yeah they got yeah. it pretty good yeah they have a stay of a boat ramp that's there yeah uh, pretty easy access not too busy horseshoe band horseshoe band Do you remember our fiasco <sighs> Site number yes. 3, 93. 93. Never forget Horseshoe Bend. Horseshoe Bend is probably around Beaver Lake. I would say it's probably one of the most, probably most popular or busiest, busiest spots. It's probably one of the largest of uh, the campgrounds too. I think there was like 200 sites. It's quite, quite big. So let's do cell service. Cell service, yeah. They have pretty good cell service to Horseshoe Bend. Lakeview. Um, some but yeah i'd say a lot of a lot of them do have a lake view i'd say the majority of the sites have a good lake view you our know. second one you can barely see it right right you know trees trees I, I, they've got quite a bit of trees some spots none some of the spots in the center areas uh you know just like anything they're out in the middle open center area but uh yeah. for the most part they have uh it's probably 50 50 50 50 which is which is the, the next, next spot, spot level, level. Really, a horseshoe band. Bad. It is. It is so. Uh, Be it, careful. Yeah, you really have got to do some homework if you try to go spot unseen. Like, just go look on the website and try to get a spot. Yes. Be careful because they pack and they they create as many spots they can, and a lot of the spots are so unlevel. A lot of spots are almost so difficult to get into. Just like we did at Horseshoe Bend the first time. It took us about three hours just, oh, just to back in a level, and it was an absolute nightmare. It was. Okay, so now amenities. They do have water and electric on some. Some are full. They do have some full hookup sites. Yep. I think they also have family camp sites to where you they got yes, you can do dual. Two, two yep. dual. Um, they do have an accessible boat ramp. They got a pretty uh, yeah. decent boat ramp. Not Most, a lot of parking. No, not a lot of parking. Really not a lot of parking no. for, for the boat ramp. Absolutely. Not really. Not, not like Prairie Creek or... Okay, so now we're going to talk about Lost Bridge. And we stayed at Lost Bridge... We stayed at Lost Bridge South. South. Yeah. But there's two different spots. So we're going to mostly Yeah, one kind of goes up and one goes down. So they really, as close as the, the spots are, they're far away from each other from the lake. We tried to find them that one yeah, time. Yeah, on the boat, yeah. <laughs> so... So, cell service. They do have good cell service. Cell service is really good at Lost Bridge <laughs> South. We did check the cell service at Lost Bridge North. They also have uh, good, excellent cell service there. Lake View. Now, we're mostly going to talk about South because we are there at South. Yeah, so South would probably have more experience. Some of the other ones in North, I don't think is much Lake View. But this one, but, but Lake South. View. Have, every oh. spot, every spot, no matter they're inland or right on the water, every spot had a Lake View. Yeah, trees. Um, probably 50, 50 50 I think uh, Lost Bridge North had a lot more trees and there was a lot more kind of inland and treesy kind of area mm -hmm. so if you don't really need the lake access so to speak which are, if you have a boat or anything else if you want to do more Lost Bridge North is probably your better bet especially if you're looking for trees they also have a lot of lake view and everything at Lost Bridge North now we're going to talk about the spot level on Lost Bridge South I think for the most part man that was almost spot on yeah it, it was fairly it was level i mean it was only like half an inch or something or an inch i don't think we had to raise that much our friends that were also staying there they also said lost bridge so all the spots are paved they're all fairly level mm -hmm. and they're pretty well maintained i would say you know okay so the amenities i think both lost bridge south and north are just water and electric only yes they do have great showers though yeah they do so that helps when you have that aspect you especially can... if you're trying to conserve if you're staying there for a long period of time and you need to do a little bit of conserving water yep. and everything okay so let's talk about the access to the water and the boat ramp the boat ramp was kind of yeah the boat ramp was really steep yeah it, it was probably uh, it was a little sketchy i mean yeah. uh, trying to do uh trying to bring it up I think that slid going up unless you have an actual lakefront like an actual lake spot trying to park the boat if you're going to park it up by the campsite it's a little bit a uh, little bit difficult they do have a nice swimming area that's pretty close by and, and but all in all we really like the uh, lost bridge yeah so, that, i mean lost bridge south so yep so now we're going to talk about rocky branch cell service 
Uh, I don't remember. The cell service, I think, fair at best for cell service. Lake views. There is very limited spots, but there really, it really isn't uh, a lake view. One section at Rocky Branch that is right there on the water. Trees. Uh, they had a lot of trees. Lots of trees. Yeah. Lots of trees. That's yeah. So definitely lots of trees. What about the rock. spots being level? This is one campground. And then <laughs> this is another one. Look at the driveway. Uh, we, only, we only stayed there one time. It was tricky. It was very challenging. To but, get it because of the obstacles. Mm -hmm. Some of them... You go down and curve. Some are straight back, like fifty. Yeah, yeah. 50 feet. The 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 spots are kind of really goofy. Even they the are. ones on the water were kind of really goofy to kind of pull into. You, yeah, you gotta. They're pretty. That's tough. a recon. That definitely is one. Yeah, that's done. You want to recon because, uh, yeah, that's definitely some challenging spots. I would hate to kind of get just get some spot for the weekend and kind of find out you can't even hardly turn around or do anything. So yeah spots yeah not, not right. so good at rocky branch so the amenities electric only yeah they're electric only spots that they have there so and it's dry camping vaulted toilets so one thing we also we one of our number one complaints that we had at rocky branch is there was no signs none so we got totally lost it almost took us an hour just to find where our camp spot is okay so now we are on the the, boat. the access and the boat ramp the main boat ramp was kind of sketchy the other side where they actually have the day use area boat ramp area was actually pretty nice because yeah. it was there was a bay kind of there and we were able that's right we were able to use the the bar so if you go on the day use side of the park which is not the boat ramp for the campground. It's more of the day use. It, it actually is pretty nice. There's parking yes. there. Pretty uh, level, easy to get in and out. So yeah, that by the day use area was that Yeah, was it. it was nice. So, yeah. That, that's it. And But we have some other campsites that we have not visited yet around Beaver Yeah, around Lake. Beaver Lake. One we did in a tent, but not in our RV. So we're going to do honorable mention. We have the dam site. So. Well, another honorable mention is the Indian Creek. And so the last honorable mention is Starkey. Our number one out of Prairie Creek, Hickory Creek, Horseshoe Bend, Drum Lost roll. Bridge South, and Rocky Branch is Lost Bridge South. Yes. Lost Bridge South is probably by far our best uh, our yeah. best spot. It really kind of hit all the check boxes with everything yeah. high on all the check boxes. The views, every view is phenomenal. It's a smaller park, so it's not very crowded. You don't have a whole lot of people there. That end of the lake is absolutely beautiful. The water is blue, yes. and it's not as much traffic. Probably the only down thing about, about Lost Bridge South was the boat ramp access. Yeah. That was it. So, um, so this is just our opinions on our favorites around Beaver Lake. Mm -hmm. Check out some of the, with the overviews. We did overviews in all these spots. So look at through our overviews and uh, the campsites and uh, you be the judge. Yeah, so. you and you let us know. Let us know what you think. Put in the comments down below if you've been to any of these uh, spots that we've mentioned. Yeah, and what do you like or don't like about it? Yeah, yeah, no. So definitely put something in the comments yeah. below. It's another fun episode <laughs> with KKOA and we'll talk to you next time. All right, bye-bye.